Okay, let's have a little prayer here before we start here. Our most loving and kind Heavenly Father, we ask you to uh, send send your son to be here, your only begotten son, because he said we're two or three are gathered together. He's there in the midst. We ask you to let this be uh, your words and not my own, and that we may people may understand what I'm trying to uh, relate tonight, and it's from uh, your messenger uh, and also the Bible texts, and uh, we're asking that people will understand what uh, is being presented and that uh, they can uh, reach the goal of pressing together to finish the work, because we... Uh, all want to be ready for your son's soon coming and we want to be able to escape the fire that the whole earth will be engulfed in and we also want to be ready uh, to be have our name written in the Lamb's Book of Life uh, and uh, so, so that uh, when Jesus, uh, your son's work is done in the heavenly sanctuary that uh, that when he says, uh, let the righteous be righteous still and the wicked be wicked still, we can be among those that are the righteous still. In your son's name, amen. Okay, the uh, topic that we're, use, we're uh, going on tonight is the use of drugs in the sanitarium setting. Uh, the Lord is not pleased with the dealing out of drugs. Uh, many a life whose uh, eyes have closed in death might have been saved if the physicians had left alone their drug poisons if there, there had been a decided application of, uh, ap application of health and uh, life-giving remedies, pure water used for drinking purposes, pure water f uh, used most thoroughly for all hot and cold upon the afflicted as we used it, used to do, but there is need of reforms and, and the sanitarium has come to be very important. Uh, and the references are given there. Uh, a wonderful res responsibility rests upon those connected with sanitariums established in his name for the treatment of the sick. Uh, this is to be done without the use of poisonous drugs. Those who become workers in the sanitarium are be uh, to believe the words of Christ. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. The situation is, uh, in her day, they had poisonous drugs. They had mercury and arsenic and a lot of poisons that uh, the person died right away. But now we have poisons that that they don't die right away, but they do die, and they do get uh, conditions as a result of taking the drugs. It's a slow poison, and there it was a rapid poison, but things haven't changed a whole lot. Uh, it's still leaving a bayful uh, 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 thing behind. I mean, if you take a drug now and you get a side effect, that's, a, that's just uh, changing the form of where the, dr of the drug is at because uh, the side effect shows that you still have uh, uh, a disease process going on. People need to be taught that drugs do not cure disease. It is true that they sometimes afford present uh, relief and the patient appears to recover uh, as the result of their use, 
This is because nature has sufficient vital force to expel the poison and to correct the conditions that cause the disease. Health is recovered in spite of the drug, but, as most, but in most cases the drug only changes the form and location of the disease. Often the effect of the poison seems to be overcome for a time, but the results remain in the system and work great harm at some other, some later period. Nothing should be put, put in the human system that will leave a baleful influence behind. And to carry out the uh, light on this subject to, uh, to practice hygienic treatment is the reason why which has uh, been given f uh, me for establishing sanitariums in various localities. I have been pained when many students have been encouraged to go where they will would receive an education in the use of drugs. The light has uh, received the light I have received on the subject of drugs uh, is altogether different from the use made of them at these schools or at the sanitariums. We must become enlightened on these subjects. Well, the the problem is is now they even advertise on TV the uh, the drug, mm -hmm. and they keep saying, "Tell your doctor, tell your doctor this, tell your doctor that, tell your doctor this, tell your doctor that." And uh, and so when people come come to the doctor, they're expecting a drug. They're expecting uh, something that they saw on the TV. They're expecting something uh, that that will give them a fast cure. They're not looking for something that will uh, change the way that they uh, their habits and their way of life, their uh, way they eat, the way they exercise. The, the way they uh, use water, the way they uh, um, uh, avoid uh, things that cause harm to their body. I mean, there's a recent uh, thing that came out uh, showing that people uh, with bipolar disease, do people, do you know, do people know what bipolar is? You have depression, but you have to have one either hypomanic or manic uh, episode in your lifetime, and you're bipolar. You're, you're either, you know, you're on a, on a manic uh, phase or you're on a depression phase. And they found that people that uh, drink a lot of coffee, it increases the amount of hypomanic and manic episodes that they have. And so... So uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, literature that's out there that says, oh, coffee is safe and it helps save your life and it, it extends your lifespan. But they have not uh, uh, done all the studies on coffee. We're told that coffee is not safe. Tea is not safe. And, and if you look at the long term of things, and study Ellen White's writings, she always comes out right. She always knows what's right. And, and you, you can't trust the, what, what the latest thing is that came on your TV or, or in your magazine. In our sanitariums, we advocate the use of simple remedies. We discourage the use of drugs, for they poison the current of the blood. In these institutions, uh, sensible instruction should be given how to eat, how to drink, uh, how to dress, and how to live so that the health may be preserved. I write these things that uh, you may know that the Lord has not left us without the use of simple remedies, which uh, when used... Uh, will not leave the system in, weaken, in, a weak, in the weakened uh, condition in which the use of drugs so often uh, leaves it. We need well-trained nurses who can understand how to use simple remedies 
that nature provides for rest, uh, rest, restoration to health and who can teach uh, those who are ignorant of the laws of health how to use these simple but effective cures. Uh, he who created men and women has an interest in those who suffer. He has directed the establishment of our sanitariums that that they may become efficient mediums in training men and women for the work of ministering to suffering humanity uh, in the treatment of uh, the sick and poisonous drugs need not be used. I don't know why I shut this thing off and I don't know why it's not. I thought I shut it off, but when I shut it off, I thought I shut it off. Anyway, anyway, uh, in, not, in 2007 or 8, I had a patient that came to me that had ingrown toenails. And, and, and we were busy that day, and so we rescheduled uh, a surgery to remove the toenail. And, uh, and what we do is we uh, do a, uh, use lidocaine and a digital block and block the... Uh, uh, toe so they don't feel the uh, uh, removal of the toenail and uh, and so uh, she actually came back uh, when uh, she was scheduled and she took her shoes off and they were completely normal and I said what did you do how, how did you how did you treat this I mean there were I mean when I saw them before I mean there were just uh, just really red around the toe and, and you could see the infection and there was even some pus there. She said that she soaked her uh, toes in sage. And, 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 and it was just like a miracle. I mean, it, uh, what she did was really, <laughs> really uh, a miracle, I thought. I write these things that you may know that the Lord has not left us without the use of simple remedies, which when used uh, will not leave the system in the uh, weakened condition in which the use of drugs so often leaves it. We need well-trained nurses who can understand how to use the simple remedies that nature provides the restoration of health and who can teach those who are ignorant of the laws of health how to use these simple remedies, these but effective cures. This, I think this will repeat, but uh, he who created men and women have, has an interest in those who <laughs> suffer. He has directed the sanitariums and in the building, of up this, building up of schools close to our sanitariums that they may be effective mediums in training men and women for the work of ministering. Uh, uh, to suffering humanity and, and in the treatment of the sick, poisonous drugs need not be used. This why physicians uh, and nurses in our medical institute should be those who abide in Christ for through their connection with the heavenly physician, their patients will be blessed. These God-fearing workers will have no use for poisonous drugs. They will use the natural agencies that God has given for the restoration of the sick. Time and again, I have been told the workers in our sanitariums from the light God has given me, I know that they need need not lose one patient suffering from a fever if they uh, take the case in hand uh, in time and use rational methods of, uh, of treatment uh, instead of drugs. I had a, I had a patient that uh, kept coming into the clinic with very high blood pressure, like 240 or 50 over 130. And, uh, and, and uh, so I just used the emergency uh, ways of getting the blood pressure down, but she was referred to every specialist that had to do with blood pressure. She was uh, referred to a cardiologist. She was referred to a kidney specialist, a nephrologist. She was referred to an endocrinologist. 
she was even referred to a uh, nutritional person. And, and she was on five or six uh, drugs. And it was still not bringing the blood pressure down to where it was supposed to be. It helped. And, and she went uh, on her own and saw a, uh, a Chinese herb specialist. And she, she was put on some, 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 uh, some herbs for that, for that were from China. And, and, I, and I know they had lot, some long names on them. Uh, but she had reduced down to one medication and she came back to the clinic had, she always came back and had a real bad headache with this blood pressure of 250 over 130. And she came there smiling and saying, oh, I don't have a headache today, I'm feeling good. <laughs> and uh, and I, was, I was surprised that, uh, she, uh, that she had uh, not needed uh, any emergency to take care of her uh, high blood pressure when she came back. There, there is to be a sanitarium in Australia, and altogether new methods of treating the sick are to be practiced. Drug medication must be left out of the question. If the human physician would receive the diploma written and issued in heaven, there are many physicians who will never receive this diploma unless they learn in the school of the great physician. So we all know who the great physician was. And, and this means that they must unlearn and cast away the supposed wonderful knowledge of how to treat disease without poisonous drugs. They must go to God's great laboratory of nature and there learn the simplest methods of using the remedies which the Lord has furnished. When drugs are thrown aside, when fermented liquor of all kinds is discarded, when uh, uh, God's remedies, sunshine, pure air, water, and good food are used, there will be uh, far fewer deaths and far greater number of cures. So I don't know, are there there's a lot of uh, drugs that have actually uh, alcohol in them. Um, Dr. Kellogg, God has given you favor with the medical fraternity, and he would have you hold that favor. But in, ca but in no case are you to stand, as do the physicians of the world, to exalt allopathy above every other practice and call all other method, methods quackery and error. For, for, for from the beginning to the present time, the results of allopathy have uh, made the most objectionable showing. Uh, there has been loss of life in the sanitarium because drugs have been administered and these give no chance for nature to do their work of restoration. Drug medication has broken up the power of the human machinery and the patients have died. Others have cured, ca others have carried the drugs away with them, making less effective the simple remedies nature uses to restore the system. The students in your institution are not to be instructed to regard drugs as a necessity. Uh, they are to be educated to leave drugs alone. So uh, I wonder if people, uh, if you know what allopathy is, the allopathy means like if you have blood pressure, you take a medicine that lowers blood pressure. If you have uh, a uh, cancer, you use medic uh, medicines, uh, poisons that kill the cancer. 
uh, if you if you uh, have uh, diabetes, you take a medicine that uh, that uh, increases the amount of uh, insulin you have, or, uh, either stimulating the pancreas to produce more, or you uh, take a, 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 a insulin as a as a drug that will uh, lower your blood sugar. The uh, and there, there's other things called homeopathy, which is just taking s small, uh, s small amounts of medications that actually increase, like if you had blood pressure, you take a s small amount of medication that actually increases your blood pressure, and then, and then by feedback, it's supposed to lower your blood pressure. It's called homeo, and in, the, in other words, same. But she even commented about a ear, nose, and throat female doctor that was using homeopathy, and and was still use. She considered it still using drugs, and that she said that it was not in God's uh, the instruction she'd been given from God to use homeopathy. And she advocated. Uh, what was called hygienic treatment. And, and hygiene means like pure air, pure water, uh, uh, and, and things that are uh, uh, part of hygiene. And it should, should have been hygienopathy, or what, uh, it should have been called, uh, uh, or hygienic treatment. And Actually, in the early days of the uh, Medical Board of California, they were open to uh, having uh, 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 the development of a board that w was uh, licensing physicians in hygienic treatment, but the the is uh, the people in Loma Linda were receiving money from the pharmaceutical companies and they uh, elected to go that method in order to, because they were just not having, I guess, enough money to sustain their operations. So they got money from the pharmaceutical companies and didn't go down the path of hygienic uh, treatment, but they could have got uh, really uh, into the uh, uh, license, got a licensing board for hygienic treatment. The treatment we gave when the sanitarium was first established required earnest labor to combat disease. Uh, we did not use drug concoctions. We followed hygienic methods. This work was blessed by God it was a work in which the human instrumentality could cooperate with God in saving life. There should be nothing put into the human system that will leave its baleful uh, influence behind. And to carry out the light uh, on this subject, to practice hygienic treatment, and to educate on altogether different lines of treatment of treating the sick was the reason given me why we should have sanitariums established in various localities. Drugs seldom need to be, uh, seldom need, drugs seldom need, are needed. We, we are expected to do our, the best we can. Now, uh, there was a, uh, case of where a person had malaria and this uh, patient's family member died and the person uh, said, uh, did not allow the physician to, to use quinine for the treatment even though this physician didn't know uh, another method to control the malaria. And Alan White was asked uh, uh, by this family member, if I would have allowed 
the physician to use quinine when he didn't know of any other method to treat the malaria, would have I sinned? And she said, no, we are expected to do our best. And, and if a physician knows um, of a method to treat uh, and doesn't know about the other method, but he can save a life, we're supposed to save a life if we can, but, uh, but we're supposed to uh, educate away from drugs and to use them less and less. So this is a more like, and she also referred to like people that was, were eating meat, she uh, said that they, that they uh, need to use meat less and less and then get off of it. And it was the same way with uh, physicians. They need to ex uh, do the best they can with what they know, but then they need to uh, educate themselves and also educate the patient uh, to not rely on, on uh, drug medication. Uh, because, uh, I mean, a lot, like for instance, I mean, today we, they're, uh, they're coming in and expecting to have a drug treated for them because of what they saw on the internet or what they saw on the TV or whatever, and they expect the physician to give them that drug that they saw uh, on, on the, uh, what they read and stuff. Uh, so, so there needs to be an education both of the physician and the patients in regard to this. What, what, what I need to do is if, if people want to contact me, uh, I will give you my email. I have a new email that, uh, that I don't have much in there. It's called uh, uh, gweightmd at aol.com. And if people have suggestions or if they want to get involved, I think the first thing that we need to do is, uh, uh, is do some evangelistic work of where we have uh, evangelistic series for the community that we're living in. And, and along with those uh, like Revelation Seminar or whatever you want to call them, we need some uh, some uh, health fairs that we can have a health fair where they come through and uh, learn learn the uh, natural remedies and 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 I'm willing to help out in any of this if, if we can if you people can contact me at my uh, email I'd appreciate it and and see what we can do here and I know you need to let me know what are your skills or what are your things you want to do, okay? Amen. What's that email again? Uh, G, and then wait, W-A-I-T-E-M-D at A-O-L dot com. Okay, so that's all. Okay.